All right, guys, welcome to the combatives portion of Armor Up. One of our principles is high and low line striking. So I'm gonna talk about a low line strike, which is a tie kick or a combative kick or however you wanna look at it. The way I throw my low line leg kick is gonna be a little bit different in combatives as opposed to the sparring mentality where I'm trying to kick and then just come back. Okay, that could be useful for a combative scenario where you're, you see a blade or you see something in your environment where you need some distance but primarily this combative kick that we're gonna use is gonna be very, very powerful grinding down and axing down into this thigh and knee area to cause a lot of damage, okay? Especially on a preemptive strike, and I can use this for preemptive strikes, where I sit here and do this, and go boom, and then slide in. And that's the biggest difference with the combatus portion is that I'm actually looking to, to push forward and get in that guy's space as opposed to give him that space back where I'm going, kick and then see what he has. This isn't a one for one. This is me, 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 me in combatives when your life is on the line. So to reset this, very similar to our knee, is that I wanna be able to open this front leg up just a little bit. I wanna open that foot up that's gonna allow my hips to have more area and more torque to move through and to be able to get a good turn on my hips to get my shin down on that target area. So as I go to step, the preemptive part of this is that I'll step at about a 45 degree angle. Okay, I can step outward, I can stay in the same place, and then I'm gonna torque my hips. Just like you're throwing a baseball bat, I wanna think about getting my hip turned over in the direction of the, the strike. You think about a line or a spike driving through where I wanna target. So if I wanna target right here on the thigh, take a spear or a spike, stick it through the leg, and that's the direction my strike needs to go. So if that spike is pointing towards the wall, that's where I want my shin to be pointing when I'm done with the strike. So if you visualize that spike going through, I'm gonna step over and then I'm gonna throw the strike in that direction. And if you can see, my foot, knee, hip, and shoulder are all aligned to where that spike should be pointing. Okay, that's how I wanna throw the strike. That's how I'm gonna get maximum power for that low line strike. I can do it in shadow boxing just on my own. I don't need something to kick. I can sit here and visualize that but just know as I step and throw the strike, well, I don't have anything to hit, right? So I have to be able to swing through. My power is gonna go through here to be able to turn back around. Just understand that, okay? I can go strike and then step in. As you're learning this movement, just be very careful. If you're experienced at this, you can add a little bit more power. I'm gonna do one full speed so you can see what it looks like. One more time. Okay, that's the low line tie kick slash combative kick. Okay, depositing a lot of energy into that thigh and knee area to cause maximum damage. We'll see you guys in the next strike.